हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ ऋतिक काद्या मेंबर ऑफ ओ एन ओ टीम तो कैसे आप सब आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एम आर राइट करेंटली दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वर्किंग फॉर मैनी इन्वायरमेंटल एंड सोशल इश्यूज एंड एज वी नो मैनी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कांट अफोर्ड ऑफलाइन कॉस्टली क्लासेस सो डेट्स वाई वी टू कैन इनिशिएटिव टू प्रोवाइड फ्री कोचिंग फॉर यू जी सी नेट इन्वायरमेंट साइंस क्योंकि किसी ने कहा है देर इज नो राइट टाइम फॉर डूइंग गुड वर्क सो हेयर इज द कंटेंट डेट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वट इज इन्वायरमेंट साइंस इट्स कंपोनेंट्स वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट वट आर द डिफरेंट स्कोप इन इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस एंड वी विल सी some of the best institutions in which we can pursue environmental science and which books should be referred for preparation of UGC NET exam so aap sab taiyar hai to aaiye start karte hain is video ko first of all jo word environment hai वो एक फ्रेंच वर्ड इनवायर से डिराइव हुआ है जिसका मतलब होता है टू एनसर्कल और सरा ये एक सिंगल सब्जेक्ट नहीं है बल्कि इट इज अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट डेट एनकम्पासिस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी जियोलॉजी हाइड्रोलॉजी एंड मैनी अदर ब्रांचेस ऑफ फिजिकल एंड नेचुरल साइंस it also deals with one other subject that is ecology what is ecology ecology is nothing but study of how organisms interact with our environment this diagram shows the multidisciplinary nature of environmental science as we can see that if we connect environmental studies to life science we can study the biotic components of environment it is connected to physical science by studying the physical nature of our atmosphere our earth's nature we can study different layers of earth atmosphere we can connect it with mathematical model also to study the uh, proper functioning of environment in a very short model we can also connect it with economics sociology education management and also with mass communication so let's see first the components of environmental first of all environment is made up of physical environment which includes atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere atmosphere is nothing but it is the blanket of gases which surrounds the earth whereas hydrosphere is the combined mass of water found on under and above the surface of planet whereas lithosphere is the solid outer part of the earth then second component is biological component which is divided into two parts abiotic and biotic abiotic factors are the non living parts of an environment this includes things such as sunlight temperature water soil and naturally occurring events such as storms fires and volcanic eruptions whereas biotic components includes all the living things present in the environment it includes producers consumers and decomposers producers are those which capture energy directly from the sun and make their own food whereas consumers are those which rely on producers for their food whereas decomposers are the dead and decaying organisms which convert organic molecule into simple inorganic molecules next is cultural component which includes the society economy 
and politics of a particular country. Importance of environmental science As we know, nature provides us a huge amount of ecosystem services which makes our livelihood more simple. But we are destroying it at the faster rate which means there will be no resources for our future generation. So first of all we should understand the impacts of modern development on the environment. We should discover sustainable ways of living to protect our environment for destruction. We should utilize natural resources efficiently without harming the environment. We should understand the behavior of organisms under natural conditions and how to conserve those biodiversity. We should also learn and create awareness about environmental problems at both local, national and international level so as to provide environment from this vast or huge amount of destruction. So let us see the different scope that is present in environmental science. The first one is industries. हर एक इंडस्ट्रीज को एक कंप्लाइंस शो करना पड़ता है अगेंस्ट अ नंबर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल नॉर्म्स तो हर एक इंडस्ट्री में एक इन्वायरमेंट एक्सपर्ट्स की जरूरत होती है जो उन्हें गाइड करे फॉर अडॉप्टिंग क्लीन टेक्नोलॉजीज कंट्रोलिंग पोल्यूशन डिस्पोजिंग द वेस्ट एंड कैरिंग आउट इन्वायरमेंटल ऑडिट सेकेंड इज कंसल्टेंसीज Uh, कई सारी इन्वायरमेंटल कंसल्टेंसीज है जो कि हायर करती है गवर्नमेंट या कोई इंडस्ट्रीज या फिर डिफरेंट एन जी ओज फॉर कैरिंग आउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लेबोरेटरी बेस्ड एनालिसिस और फील्ड बेस्ड स्टडीज विच आर ऑफन रिक्वायर्ड इन ई आई ए एंड अदर कंप्लाइंस प्रोसेस थर्ड इज रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इस एरिया में देर आर ह्यूज ऑपरचुनिटीज ऑफ रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट Uh, in this area it includes studying different types of pollution and their cause and effects it also include development of clean and efficient technologies for future academics environmental science is taught at almost every level of education chahe wo school ho ya college ho ya university ho ya koi institute ho to a large number of teachers ya professors हमें चाहिए टू फुलफिल दिस नीड तो वी कैन डू बी एस सी एंड एम एस सी इन इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस एंड कैन ऑल्सो परस्यू फॉर पी एच डी देन देर इज ग्रीन मार्केटिंग एंड ग्रीन मीडिया ग्रीन मार्केटिंग इज रिक्वायर टू प्रमोट इको फ्रेंडली प्रोडक्ट्स इन मार्केट वेर एज ग्रीन मीडिया इज मेड टू जनरेट अवेयरनेस अबाउट द इन्वायरमेंट there are number of magazines newspapers which regularly publish the articles on environmental theme for example there is an magazine down to earth which is published by center for science and education at every month then there is green advocacy environmental lawyers are emerging as major players in ensuring proper implements of environmental norms laws and programs then there is a huge number of ngos that works uh, related to environment like greenpeace wwf csc cee terry vatavaran these are the some examples of environmental ngos then there is a number of conventional or government jobs available such as environmental ministry pollution control boards national parks biosphere reserves then various international agencies such as unep iucn and world bank require qualified human resources to implement environment related projects so here is the list of best institutions of environmental science you can do different courses in environmental science like you can do bsc msc in environmental science or uh, you can do mtech in environmental science and technology 
there are many diploma courses are also available related to environmental science so let's see the best institutions of environmental science first one is terry uh, it uh, from now this year it also provide one new course that is msc in climate science and policy you all students who are going to college this year you can check this next is delhi university you all heard about this then there is a wildlife institute of india in dehradun uh, this institute also provide a uh, good scholarships to the students then there is a central universities of haryana punjab uttarakhand then there is pondicherry university jnu jawaharlal nehru university fri dehradun then there is ipu indraprastha university in new delhi and uh, some what uh, all uh, all heard about kurukshetra university uh, which is also a good state university which provide msc and mtech in environmental science uh, i saw many students are confused about the books to be referred to prepare for any competitive exam related to this environmental science so here are the some books which may be referred to proceed your uh, preparation and enhance your knowledge so here are the some books uh, for environmental chemistry you can refer gilbert master book environmental chemistry by ak day or environmental chemistry by stanley manhan for ecology and ecosystem you can refer uh, odum it is a very popular book you all heard about this and you can also refer sing and sing r gupta book for statistics you can refer fundamental of statistics by sc gupta also there are various books like botkin and keller g taylor miller and spoolman uh, which can be referred for studying of environmental science students can also refer to some competitive books like catalyst uh, true man you can also refer books of aryant and kvs madan for paper 1 for latest happening in environment you can refer to various government sites as well as the down to earth magazine which i told you earlier that it publish an uh, lecture or article on environmental science at every month because of this pandemic our schedule get disturbed and we don't know the exact date of exam but as we know csi declared a tentative date sheet for this year net exam ugc will also conduct around this time only so we still have 3 months to prepare and make our concepts more clear i will try to cover the entire syllabus along with the previous year questions and i will also make sure that all the numerical problems that came in the paper should be discussed before november if anyone have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment section i will get to you as soon as possible if you found it useful please don't forget to like and share this video also subscribe this channel thank you for the support and listening to me we will be back with our new session soon stay tuned stay safe